Barak the Yahweh, Barak the Yahweh Shai, giving all praises, honor, and glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rekakodash, that's Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shai, and the Holy Spirit. As always, double honors to our apostles and our elders, our leaders and teachers of the Church of Great Millstone that taught us his true wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and that are ruling well. Shalom, peace, and love to you, Akim, that are prophets and teachers that are risking your lives to help edify the elect of the nation of Israel. And Shalom to all of the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. Well, there's uh, <laughs> two videos, you know, that I'm going to do a response to today. You know, and uh, one, you know, was basically uh, you got a few women that went out, uh, I guess, to uh, have a good time. You know, they all look like they're in their uh, in their early 20s. You know, I mean, just by the way that they're dressed, you know, and there's a uh, a guy that basically chased them home, you know, after the club, you know, and they're laughing, you know, and, and you know, basically making mock of it, you know, pulling out their phones, you know, um, I guess, you know, uploading it to uh, social media and whatnot. And the guy's just standing outside of their apartment, you know, wouldn't eat, leave, you know, basically said that he was out there, you know, the whole night, you know, and just to look on their faces, you know, in which they're they're scantily clad, you know, uh, dressed like the the <laughs> how can you what would you say, you know, the uh, average American whore. You know, looking like um, fucking Spice Girls, or whatever. But anyways, they're they're laughing about it, which goes to show you that um, women really don't have good situation awareness. You know, they're not alert. You know, they they're not uh, uh, keen, you know, or good at spotting danger. You know, I, I would I would assume that the first thing to do would be to, uh, <laughs> you know, call the cops, you know, but I guess they thought that it was funny funny enough to um you know share it on social media you know which um that's the first video <laughs> and the second video I, I man i don't know what this moon you know or, or i'm sorry you know the eclipse that happened you know that recently happened uh going back into um april of this year you know which um it crossed through America. You know, after that particular moon, it's like people start bugging out, you know, people are bugging out and it's on a whole nother level of bug, bug out. You know, it's on a whole nother level of bug out. You know, you got niggas, you know, uh, uh, getting threads on their arms, you know, thinking that, you know, someone put a, um, try to put a device inside of their arm you know you got um all kind of you know weirdos just popping up out of the woodwork well you know add this to the list you know there's a man that they're identifying as uh gregory miles in southwest philadelphia you know who <laughs> who nutted on a chick's leg in a grocery store you know now you know i'm gonna speak from you know, the, the point of view of concerning this situation, 
you know, of um, how the woman was in the wrong, you know, and how it could been been prevented, you know, of course. And also to speak about the kind of individuals that are in the mind frame of Gregory Mouse. Because. We're living in a time where that kind of behavior is only going to get worse. All right, we've seen, you know, uh, uh, migrants, grapists, you know, throwing, you know, uh, belts around women's necks, choking them out, you know, taking it. Now, this ain't the same America, you know, that women were comfortable living in, you know, from the, the, the 1970s, you know, all the way up until, you know, the, the, the teens of the 2000s. You know, this has this has easily became a different place. America is now a third world country. All right. You're living in a country where po police don't respond like they used to. And you're lucky to get get, you know, um, a squad car to come out. If you call the police, they might just tell you, look, we ain't got nobody to send. You're going to have to call your brother. You're going to have to call your uncle. You have to call some friends. And if you can't call them, well, I guess you're just going to have to do your best, you know, to kick and push. So anyways, and this man had on the audacity to have a shirt that said uh, it's not going to lick itself. <laughs> so these people are crazy, man. And, um, you know, oftentimes we bring out the scripture, you know, dealing with the spirits that are created for vengeance. You know, from the perspective of, um, you know, people that will unalive each other. All right. Uh, the love of many waxes cold. You know, we usually make that with it. But however, this is a, a, <laughs> a spirit that is created for vengeance. But guess what? That that uh, um, that great spirit. <laughs> OK. That is a a, a, a a heavy spirit to be upon a man to to perform something like that. And you got a lot of men that are backed up. They're backed up. And they, they want some real bad. But however, you know, it's, it's um, hard to get it now because you can't uh, um, approach a woman, you know, the, the normal way. You know, otherwise she'll try to embarrass you. So you got some guys that have the strength to to, um, you know, with uh, I guess you can say like withstand, you know, not give in to those urges because they know that, you know, dealing with the woman, she's out of her fucking mind anyway. So basically, you know, you got guys that can't contain themselves. And that's what this this type of individual is. And um, when you watch the video is mad, hilarious, you know, but <laughs> at the same time, you questioning yourself. Well, look, is, is this somebody's somebody's wife? You know, uh, um, you know. Which uh, nine times out of ten, it is, even if she doesn't consider herself to be because um, some someone had to have have uh, popped her before. So anyways, um, let me grab a few scriptures on, on that and then I'll speak on the the women that got followed home. So this is um the first scripture, Matthew five and twenty eight. But I say unto you that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her have committed adultery with her already in his heart. Now, these women, these modern day American women, uh, which they have influ influence women all around the world, too, uh, with this kind of behavior. You know, um, there's a video of um, basically some, some chicks just twerking, you know, and, and, and doing, you know, certain shit. And it's like it, it doesn't even it doesn't even phase men no more. Because they're, they're fed up with it. You know, they're tired of that that lewd behavior. You know, that that uh, unchained, you know, uh, un, un, 
you know, con un uncontrollable behavior that these women do, you know, the way that they dress. So they're, they're revealing themselves, but yet they're somebody's, you know, uh, somebody's wife. They're somebody's mother. So they'll, they'll go out with the girls and they'll have a good time, you know, and, and, and they're doing some fucking lewd shit, you know, twerking, dancing on other men. There's another video of a, a guy interviewing these two women. And he said, you know, how often do women cheat when they, when they go on, um, their girls trips? And a woman response would say 80% of women cheat on their, on their men and they enjoy it. You got an, another woman that divorced her husband, basically saying that he was, he was too boring. She, she only got married to him because she had found out that she was pregnant, but she knew that he was born before she got married to him. She knew that he was born before she had the child with him. So it will be in your better better interest not even to deal with them, man. Just smash and, 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 and dash. But ultimately, um, these are, even though they don't dress like it, even though they don't act like it, a lot of times, you know, these be, you know, people's wives. Now, there's a particular way that women are supposed to dress and the way that they're su supposed to dress, they're supposed to dress in modest apparel. So speaking to the regard of the video with the woman that got, got, um, you know, the seed spilt on her. All right. That got, got a uh, glaze like a donut. The book of first Timothy two and nine in like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel with shamefacedness and sobriety, not with broided hair or gold or pearls or costly array. So the point of me bringing that scripture out is the, the first thing that you notice from the video is that the woman's whole fucking leg, you know, from her, from her thigh down is, is uncovered. Where's the rest of your clothes? So women like, walking around, you know, with fucking underwear on, you know, or, um, those clothes that you're supposed to wear at the gym, they're supposed to go under your clothes. They're not really close. They're the, the spandex wear, the active wear or the, or the, uh, fitness wear that's supposed to go under your clothes to stop your, your titties from bouncing, to stop your ass from jiggling around, but, but also gives you the, um, the room that you need to make certain movements. But you're wearing it as if it's an outfit. Oh, this is cute. You know, I'm going to wear this. But then men see it and they get they get turned on by it. They get to see your ass. You know, they get to see the curve of your ass. They, they get to see, you know, your your um, moose paw. They get to see your your breast, your curvature. So they're getting turned on. And these men are, are men in society that are being told no. So they're, they're growing, you know, eager to get that cottage cheese out of their back. And a lot of these guys ain't, look, they're not fine-tuned, okay? They're, they're, they need a mental tune-up. They need some Adderall, <laughs> So you got a bunch of crazy ass niggas that's out there that's backed up that still had them urges. I don't I don't see too many stories of women that are dressed modestly. That are dressed in modest apparel that experience situations like this. I don't hear too many stories of that. But however, this is something that you S L U T S is. I have to deal with. You're going to learn very quickly why it's important to be in order. You're going to learn that. Now, this is the book of Isaiah 32 and 9. It says, listen, you women 
who lie around in ease. Listen to me, you who are so smug. And that this is uh, coming from the NLT. Now let's define the word smug. Which the word smug means having or showing an excess pride in oneself or in one's achievements. I, I'm so accomplished. I got I got these worldly accomplishments. I don't I don't need a man. I got a college degree. I got a bachelor's degree. I got a doctrines. I'm a professor. I'm a judge. I don't need a man. I'm a dental hygienist. I'm a registered nurse. I'm a doctor. I don't need a man. And that mainly happens among you so-called Negro women. All right, you, you women of the tribe of Judah. You so proud, I don't, I don't need a man for nothing. I can do it all on my own. Until something happens and you, you dial 911 and male officers show up. So you so you so you so much on your your um high horse, you so full of proud pride. You're sitting on that BBL throne of yours. You know, and you thinking that you you all that in a bag of chips. All right. T take heed, listen, all right, you women who lie around in ease. You got it easy. All right, listen to me. You who are so smug. In a short time, just a little more than a year, which they're talking about Project 2025. All right, the elites ain't pushing for, for um, 2030. They want to make things happen in 2025. All right, so they, they got this thing in, uh, in hyperdrive. They're making haste. For your fruit crops will fail and the harvest will never take place. Tremble ye women of ease. Throw off your complacency. Strip off your pretty clothes and put on burrup. All right. To show your grief or I'm sorry, not burrup, <laughs> burlap. All right. Which burlap is is a uh, is sackcloth. All right. It's like a like a potato sack. So the time is going to come when you're going to take those pretty clothes off. All right, those clothes that you consider to be uh, beautiful clothes. All right, in 1 Peter 3 and 3, it says, Who's adorning, let, in, uh, adorning, let it not be in the outward adorning of the planting of the hair or the wearing of gold or the putting on of apparel. So <clears throat> if you read another translation, it would say beautiful clothing. Now, when you type in the beautiful clothing, all right, within Google, they're going to show you all of these, these different outfits, all right, that, um, or be beautiful women's clothing. They're going to show you all of these, um, outfits where women got slits in it, their asses out, the dresses up. You know, you got women getting outfits from, from Sheen, from Timu. All right, from um, other different places, you know, uh, uh, Fashion Nova, and they'll throw it on with their makeup. Look at that. Beautiful women clothes, and then hit images. The first thing you're going to see is a fucking woman with a slit going all the way up to her hip. Some tight-ass clothes, halfway dressed. Ain't nothing modest about this. And you got women that are dressing like this, but they have husbands or their mothers. And they'll dress like this around their kids. They won't dress like this for their husband, but they'll dress like that when they're getting ready to go out. And next thing you know, some dude, you know, who's who's backed up, who ain't had nothing in a while, probably just got out of jail, 
just got out of the psych ward, horny. Horny as hell. And he wants some real bad. And you got in um the book of Sirach 20 and 4, which this script scripture isn't talking about this, but however, because it mentions, you know, this, I'm gonna I'm gonna use it. So this is Sirach 20 and 4. It says, as it is the lust of a eunuch to deflower a virgin. So is he the executive judgment with violence. So the it's it's talking about um you know uh, um well basically it's self-explanatory. So is he that executive judgment with violence. So it's like a man, you know, who had his had his um you know his um his egg his huevos clipped off, okay? You know? Okay, I, I don't want to get too graphic with it, you know, but he had his had his things, you know, clipped off that he was born with his t his testes. So just like it's his desire to deflower a virgin. You know, but he but he can't do it the same way goes for somebody that here it is, you 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 using violence you know to bring judgment you ain't really fixing the problem but the point that i want to extract from that is as as a um it is the lust of a eunuch to defile women because you got some men in society that's eunuchs but it's not by their choice it's it's not because they're doing it for a holy reason it's not because they're doing it you know, because they were they were made eunuchs of men, they were castrated. You got some men that that want to deal with women, but 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 they can't because the 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 for whatever reason. So they want to do it, but they can't do it. So they're backed up. All right, and they're they're not all the way there. All right, they're elevated. Don't go all the way to the top. These men are going to be let loose in society because we're entering into a state of lawlessness. As I said earlier, America isn't the same country. You got all of these people coming from around the world through the border from these these third world countries. You got the credit rating of America that has that is, is not an a, a, a uh, credit rating anymore. You got the money being devalued through inflation. All right, you got uh, police officers that don't want to be police officers no more. You got crime that's on the rise. You got certain places that say we're, we're not even going after certain crimes. If they do it, fuck it. They just do it. So this is not the same place no more. So you got a bunch of men that are walking around of military age that's, that's, that's ready. They don't, hey, their name is Buck. And they're trying to, you know what? The book of Matthew 19 and 12, it says, For there are some eunuchs which which were so born from their mother's womb. And there are some eunuchs which were made eunuchs of men. And there, there be eunuchs which have ma made themselves eunuchs for the kingdom of the Most High sake. All right, he that is able to receive it, let him receive it. Yeah, like the Apostle Paul. The Apostle Paul didn't deal with women. You got uh, um, uh, some people that'll say, well, it's better, it's better not to touch a woman. Well, in this in this day and age, you know, you might end up with something. Shit, you might catch an STD just by looking at their nasty asses. But ultimately, um, you know, if you a woman wants to deal, she doesn't have a husband, you're not going off if, if you deal with her. Okay, but however, everybody can't do, you know, what the Apostle Paul, you know, did. That's a that's a heavy spirit to be upon it, man, to to just focus strictly on the ministry. All right. Without giving in, you know, to those fleshly desires. But however, if you're burning, you know, in the regards of being, you know, extremely desirous, you know, to 
you know, pop something, you know, to get some bucks. Then basically, if you marry, you're not going off. If you deal with a woman, you're not going off. But the reason of me bringing out that scripture. There's some men that are made eunuchs, <laughs> not not because, you know, they're, they're castrated, not because, you know, they're doing it for spiritual reasons, but because they, <laughs> none of these women won't give them no play. So they get to the point where they where they take it. You know, they'll take it. So great is going to happen. All right, especially in these times that we're in, as things go worse and worse, it's going to happen. And women are going to need, you know, husbands. If you in your right mind and you're seeing this video and you're an elect woman and you 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 don't have children and you in that mind state, well, look, I don't need a man. I could just serve, you know, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, my own. All right. You know, but it's, it's, it's better for you to have a husband. It's better for you to have a man. All right. Especially given the circumstances that we're living in. The scripture say that we're walking in the battlements of the city. And it's increasingly going growing dangerous as uh, second Ezra 15 ramp up as second Ezra 16 ramp up, as well as all of the other prophecies in the time of Jacob's trouble. You ain't about to protect yourself. All right, here it is. Things ain't even got that bad. And, you, and look at the activity that's going on just from these two videos. A dude, you know, uh, um, releasing himself on a woman's leg in a, in a, in a, in a grocery store. I mean, and, and <laughs> you know, you call me wrong, but, but I, I found that shit was funny, you know? You know, Salakia, but it was it was funny, you know, at the lamentation that she let out, you know, you go in the hell, you know, you you did that on my leg, you you B I T C H. And I'm thinking in my mind, you are you look, you a whore anyway. You know, you dress like a whore, all right? You you got on a whore's attire, and, and you you let dudes do that shit to you anyway. All right, you're not dressed modestly. You know, you're scantily clad, which means that you're not covered up. You scantily clad and you're not covered up. So guess what? You're not you're not modest and you're not humble. Now, if you were to tell that woman, well, look, you know, s sister, you need to, um, you know, dress better. She'll she'll cuss you out. You'll get into a, it. it she'll get into a, a, a cussing you know, uh, um, storm and try to embarrass you. You don't talk shit about you. So that's what they do. So this is, guess what? You are becoming a victim of your own devices. But it only gets worse. The book of Zechariah 14 and 2 from the GNT. It says the Lord will bring all the nations together to make war on Jerusalem. The cities will be taken. The houses looted. And the women graped. Half of the people will go into exile and the rest of them will not be taken away from the city. So you're going to have women being graped and you're going to have people being snatched up and put in FEMA camps. This is talking about the time of Jacob's trouble. Now, this happened in times past and it will happen again. The book of Lamentations 5 and 11 from the GNT. Our wives have been graped. On Mount Zion itself. And every Judean village. Our daughters have been forced to submit. So what in the hell you think that's talking about? You women better wisen the fuck up. Okay. You better wisen up. You better smarten up. Hey the scripture says. um, He that gets a wife. Begins a possession. Let me grab that scripture. The 
This is the book of um, Sirach, the 36th chapter, verse 23, 24. He that gets a wife beginning for possession and a help like unto himself, a pillar of rest. So you got women, I don't want to be a possession. I don't want to be controlled. Men only try to control women. You just want to control me. I had uh, uh, one woman tell me, oh, you want me to be a robot? I said, yeah. I said, yeah, bitch, that's what you was created for, you know, to be a robot. You know, that's what the scriptures say. You was created to be a help me. You know, when a man gets a, a wife, he gets a possession and he gets a, a help like unto himself. So guess what? She's supposed to help you. She's supposed to be a pillar of rest. OK, well, look, you know, I don't have to worry about certain things because I know that she got it. I know that she can take care of it. And that's the reason why a lot of times in relationship men get pissed off. You know what? They're women. Well, look, I'm supposed to be able to depend on you for this. But I'm seeing that, you know, uh, everybody else can depend on you. You show up for them. You do what they ask you to, but you can't do certain things in a relationship. No, I don't want to make you no sandwich. No, I don't want to. I don't want to get you no drink. Oh, no, I don't want to clean up after you. I don't want to cook for you. Well, bitch, you don't want to be in a relationship, you know? So beat, beat your feet, you know? Anyways, um, it goes on to say, it says, where no hedge is, there the possession is spoiled, and he that hath no wife will wander up and down mourning. So he don't that don't have a wife will wander up and down mourning. Because guess what? You know, he wants, he wants um, you know, to, to get busy. You know, he wants to get romantic. Yeah. <laughs> he wants to do things, man. So, yeah, he's wandering up and down morning. But anyways, um, it says where no hedges, there is no, pos uh, there the possession is spoiled. So if you don't have a husband... You know, then basically you don't have any protection. Do you think that this this situation would have happened to a woman that was that was in the grocery store with her man? You or you just asking for ass whooping to even, you know, to even fucking approach a, a woman when she's with her man. You asking for stripes. So this wouldn't have happened. And it also wouldn't have happened if this woman was modestly dressed. So this same scripture applies to these these uh, four women, you know, that went out to the club, you know, that's hanging out late at fucking night, that's wandering around. You know, the scripture says, um, if she be a drunkard or gather abroad. And let me just um, chew away at the ass using a uh, uh, Sirach, the 26th chapter. So this is Sirach 26 and 8, a drunken woman and a gather abroad cause of great anger, and she would not cover her shame. So one, you know, look at how all of these women are dressed in this in this video. You got you got the end dub with her hair hat on, you know, that's that's uh, barely sticking to her head. She got her stomach out and she got on a on a tutu. So basically, a gust of wind come. You seeing, you seeing ass cheeks, and you seeing, you know, the moose moose paw. And the other women ain't ain't um dressing no better. The other women ain't dressed no better. You got a uh, uh, one chick dressed like Charlie's Angels, and then the other chick got the camera phone, so you can't even see. What she's wearing, but they're running from the dude and they're laughing about it, you know, as if the shit is funny. So no situation awareness, no awareness of danger. Reading on, it says, um, verse nine, it says the whoredoms of a woman may be known in her haughty looks and her eyelids. So the way that the way that she look at you. With the eyelashes. You know, the makeup around the eyes, the the uh the contour, whatever the hell they call it. 
You know, because they put an emphasis on that makeup around their eyes and their nose area. Around the cheekbone area. Because that's that's where the most uh, they want the most attention to. But you can tell that she's a, a hoe. Just by that, by the way that she's dressed. That's the reason why these women that dress modest, they don't get bothered. Because they're not looking at a woman where they can't see her titties, they can't see her ass, they can't see her back out, they don't see her curvature, they don't see her, her round, you know, tire like a moon. They don't see her breasts. So they're not looking at her like, you, you know, uh, desiring to do anything to her. For the most part, I've seen women that dress like that get the utmost respect because they got respect for themselves. Uh, verse 10, it says, if that daughter be shameless, keep her in straightly. Let she abuse herself through over much liberty. And there's a, there's a scripture in the, um, the Apocrypha where, where it says um, the virgins. Matter of fact, let me see if I can find it. The virgins was locked in the tower. Well, well, not, you know, locked, but they were in the tower. So if you had a daughter and she was a virgin, she wasn't just roaming the streets like that. But it does mention something along the lines of uh, virgins being being locked up. I'll, I'll find it. It's in the book of uh, Maccabees. Yep, here it is. Uh, Second Maccabees 3.19. It says, in the women jerk with sackcloth, under their breasts abound in the abounded in the streets and the virgins that were kept in ran some to the gates and some to the walls and others looked out of their windows so when you had virgins you know daughters that were that were other you know coming into that marriageable age well look they wasn't out in the street they wasn't going to clubs they wasn't at no college frat parties because guess what all it takes is that 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 one time. And the nigga, niggas in, in the club, they, they're not looking, oh, I'm going to the club to find my wife. I know my wife is in the club. Or I know my wife is at a frat party. Or I know my wife is, is you know, they're not going there to look. They look, they're going there for, for, for a good time. With, with that song, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. So they're looking to just get something quick. So guess what? A lot of times in situations like that, look, women will deal with a man, you know, they'll receive seed, they'll end up getting pregnant, and then they're staying with their parents. Or, or she's out, you know, having fr fun with friends, you know, hot girl summer type shit, and she ends up pregnant. And guess what? The guy has no interest in marrying her. Look, he tells her, look, lose, lose my number. It ain't mine. I know it ain't mine because I already know that you're easy. And it could possibly be his. But then again, it may possibly be someone else's. So the point of this video is that you women are going to find out very quickly and very fast that America has changed. It's becoming a third world country. And we're now living in a time where, you know, uh, um, you can't get away with the things that you were getting away with, you know, in regards to being at ease. So you, you, you're going to have some women that wisen up, but you're going to have some that have to learn the hard way. <laughs> and I, I'm not going to make a joke about that, but I can make several jokes about, you know, learning the hard way, you know, but anyways, um. You know, for you elect women that are out there, you know, keep serving your how about Shem Yahweshai. You know, if you're single, you know, f find, you know, find you a husband that's in the faith. You know, that that's a believer. All right. I, I didn't even bring out Isaiah, you know, four and one. You know, I didn't bring out the, the earlier part of uh, Isaiah 32. You know, but it's, 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 it's not, you know, safe to be a woman out here and alone. All right. And these proud ass independent women that that say that constantly follow that motto, I can do it on my own. We will defend your own self. Because we're in the time where ain't nobody about to just jump in and defend anybody. They might defend their, their wives. 
they might defend their daughters, but they ain't about to be defending no random ass chicks. You know, unless the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemi Shai say to do so. So it's getting bad out here. You know, this is a warning to the next time. Shalom. Okay. It's not your concern. Stay on the path. It's not your concern. Stay on the path. It's not your concern.